Today we're going to look at how to download Studio 5000 so you can be begin programming your Logix 5000 controllers. The first thing we want to do is open up a new tab and we'll go to rockwellautomation.com. So now we'll be in our home page. In the top right corner, under resources, go to compatibility and downloads. And in the right section where you see download, you can download by product, you can download by keyword, or you can download by serial number. A lot of times I use serial number so I don't have to search for the product I want in case I don't get the name exactly right. But today, since we know what we're looking for, we'll do downloads by product. Okay, in our search bar, we'll type in Studio 5000 Logics Designer and we'll click on the bottom option that pops up. All right, now it wants us to select a version. The version number, the software version number that you get must match your firmware revision number in your PLC. So if your PLC has a firmware revision number of 27, let's say, then your software must also have version 27. So you can actually program that PLC. Today's video, we'll just download version 36 since it's the latest version. Okay, now we're gonna hit this little red downloads button up in the corner to see our downloads. All right, and then we're gonna hit in this download section on the right, we're gonna hit this little gray downloads button. All right, so now it has a couple add-ons and a couple tools that we might be able to use. We're not gonna click any of these today and we're just hit download software. So here, is where you enter your serial number and your product key is what we're gonna to enter today. You can also enter things like your company name, order number, contract number. There's a couple other options here. Uh, you'll get these whenever you submit a PO to Rockwell or your distributor, and then they'll give you this information back so you can actually download the software. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter the serial number. and the product key here. And I'll hit validate. Once our product has been validated, we can hit this checkbox right here. And then this downloads button up in the top right will become available so we can hit that. And then down here at the bottom, we'll hit download now. We'll accept our service agreement. So the default for Rockwell is to do a managed download. So what this will do is in our downloads up in the top right corner, it'll download a download manager. So if we click that, It'll begin our download. So now we wait for our download to finish. All right, so now that our download is complete, we have this uh, Studio 5000 file, and I just saved it in uh, my C drive under R RA. So we have the Studio 5000 folder that we'll go into. And then our first file is an executable application. So we'll run this. While this loads, the download manager just downloads the file to your computer. You then have to install those files. So that's what we're doing now. I'm not going to change any of the file locations just to keep it simple. And we're going to extract the folders and files we need.
All right, so once the extraction process is done, you'll have this uh, version 36 Studio 5000 web folder. So we'll go in here. we will go to the setup file. So there's a setup.exe file, which is an application that's in the bottom of that folder. Let's click uh, setup. And it'll open an installation window for Studio 5000 Logics Designer. It'll give you an option to customize here. Typically, I don't change any of these settings. I just have them install everything. We wait for the install. All right, so now that the software is finished installing, we need to activate it. So after it's done, a little pop-up will come up that says activate software or skip activation. We want to activate software now. And then once again, we'll enter our serial number and product key. After we enter our serial number and product key, we choose our product version. In this case, it's 36. Then we activate locally and hit continue. All right, our activation is complete. So we'll close out of that. And then we'll restart our computer. All right, so now our computer is restarted, so let's open up our software. So we'll search for Studio 5000. Right here, we'll open it up. All right, our software is installed and ready to use. So we can open a new project, start an existing one, whatever we need to do. Now you're ready to start programming your devices. Like this video and subscribe as we move on to some of the instruction sets and creating new projects in Studio 5000.